This is part one of how to create fire text in Photoshop Elements from ScreencastLibrary.com. In this video tip, I'm going to show you how to create text that has fire coming out of it in Photoshop Elements. It's a real cool effect and it's got a lot of steps to it, so stay with me. And if you have to, you can kind of rewatch the video a couple times, but I think you're really going to like this. Now, this can also be done in Photoshop. I'll be doing another video just for that. But in this situation, I'm going to actually produce this in Photoshop Elements. So the first thing we want to do is create a new image. So I'm going to go File, New, Blank File. I'm just going to make it an 800 by 600 and click OK. And what I want to do is make sure that my foreground and background are set to black and white. So what you can do to make sure that they are is just hit the D button and that uh, sets them to black and white. Now the next step is go, oh, go over here under the layers area and double click on the background lock and click OK and that unlocks the background. Alright, next step we want to hit Alt and Backspace and that will color this black. You could also just use the paint bucket but uh, Alt Backspace colors that black. Alright, let's put some text in there. We're going to click on the text tool or you can use the hotkey, which is T. And in this case, I'm going to use the impact font, a 48 point font with white. But you can use any font you want, any font size, any color, doesn't matter. And I'm just going to type the word fire in all capitals. And then click the move tool and just kind of move it in the center area. All right, so now we have our new text layer right here called Fire, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this text layer. So I'm going to make sure I click on the text layer and then right click and then duplicate layer and click OK. So now we have two text layers. And on the second text layer, with that selected, you want to make sure that you select the second text layer, the one you just created. Click on that text tool and just highlight your text by holding down the left mouse and dragging and change the color. In this case I'll just change it to black for now and click OK. And you can't really see it too much but that's OK for now. And then what you want to do is click on the little eye to turn the black layer off. So we're back to the white text. And that is exactly how we want it right now. Okay, now the next step, we want to click on our original fire layer right here, which is the white text. Hold your control key and also click on the bottom layer, which is the black background. Okay, and then you can let go. Now you have both of those selected. You're going to, once again, hold your control key down and hit the letter E and you'll notice that blended those layers together to create one layer. Again, we hit Control E to make one layer. Okay, now we're going to go to Image, Rotate, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees to the right, just like that. Now we're going to get to some, some cool effects here. So I'm going to click on Filter, Stylize, and then Wind. And the direction, you want to make sure you click from the left. So make sure from the left is selected. The method is wind. And go up to this wind area and click it a couple times. And then click OK. And you'll see a little wind right there. But it's not a lot. I want a little bit more. So to make that even stronger, I'm going to hit the Control F key, which is the hot key. I'm going to hit that twice. Control F once and twice, just like that, which is a real cool look. Okay, now we're going to rotate that image back by clicking on Image, Rotate, 90 degrees left, and that rotates the image back. Okay, now that we have our image back to the upright position, we're going to use another filter, so we're going to click on Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And for the radius, just make sure that you set it to 1.0. You 
You can either type that in or use the slider and then you click OK and that will give it a little bit of a blurry look which looks really good. Alright, the next step is to click Control and U and that brings up your hue and saturation. You could also get there by clicking on Enhanced, Adjust Color, and Adjust Hue and Saturation, but Control U gets you there a little bit quicker. And then you want to set the hue and the saturation. And set the hue to 35 and the saturation to 100. Now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to click OK. And it didn't do anything. And the reason why is you need to make sure that you first click the Colorize box. A lot of people forget to do that and they don't understand why it didn't make any color. So again, make sure you click that Colorize checkbox. Then you can go to Hue, type in 35 or use the slider, and then 100 for saturation, and click OK. And you'll see we have some cool orange fire looking text so far. We're not done, but we're getting there. All right, now we have this layer still selected. We're going to duplicate this layer. So right click while this layer is selected, and then left click on duplicate layer and OK. And that duplicates the layer, so we now have a copy of that layer. Make sure that the copy is selected, and again go to, to Control U for hue and saturation. Click Colorize. This time we're going to leave the hue at zero, and the saturation we're going to take to 100. We're going to click OK, and that gives it a red look. All right, now with the copy still selected, we're going to go to our blend mode, and you click over here in this area for the drop down box. We're going to blend as Color Dodge. So click on Color Dodge. It's a little bright, so I'm going to change the opacity. I'm going to lower it down to about 80% with that slider box, just like that. And just like that, we have a nice looking fire text. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select the fire copy layer, hold down my control key, and select the bottom layer as well. So I have those two layers selected. And then hold down control and hit E, and that merges those two layers together. So now we have those two layers merged together with the fire selected.